onboard computers have the vehicle. T minus 45 seconds. Configuring pre press. TVC, TVC motion is good. Pressing tanks. Helium checkout ended. T minus 30 seconds. First stage at pressure. T minus 20. Stage 2 at pressure. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off. We have MLS. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has cleared the towers. Pitch kick. Ten plus count on the countdown net. And securing on net A, please. Gravity turn. First stage propulsion is performing nominally. We have column and lock on both stages and power systems are go. This is nominal. The vehicle is at 440 3 kilometers. As Falcon 9 ascends into the atmosphere, we're getting a little bit of audio trouble from the launch site. The vehicle is, a, is quickly approaching its max Q, where, it will, where its increasing speed and the atmospheric density create the maximum resistance to the vehicle's flight. After max Q, the forces acting on the vehicle will decrease dramatically, and the vehicle will continue to gain speed substantially. As the atmosphere thins, the exhaust plume will begin to expand greatly and take on a darker color as the lack of oxygen prevents afterburning of the plume. Approaching Miko two. And we have state separation. And state separation is confirmed. MVAC chamber ignition confirmed. And we have a clean stage separation and the second and second stage ignition. The Merlin vacuum engine has begun lifting the second stage and dragging into orbit. As you saw, there were several stiffening rings on the MVAC nozzle expansion skirt that fell away as designed. The vehicle has an inertial, velo inertial velocity of 3,500 meters per second, altitude of 140 kilometers. Let's turn off Firex. No, MVAC is performing fire. nominally. Yep, back on. Guidance is nominal. 
And we have nominal avionics operation at this point. Stage two and MVAC engine performing nominally. As the second stage continues its flight, you'll see one of the roll control uh, actuators wiggle back and forth on the center of the screen. That's simply the vehicle correcting its trajectory as it continues to orbit. Second stage continues to perform nominally. Second stage avionics looking nominal. And we have telemetry lock. Guidance is nominal. The vehicle is currently traveling at 4,000 meters per second at an altitude of 189 kilometers. And this is prop still performing nominally. Both stage and MVAC performing nominally. New Hampshire station has acquired. As expected, the radiatively cooled expansion nozzle of the engine is glowing uh, red hot, and in some places nominal. even white. This is expected, nominal. and it is designed to operate just like our Falcon 1 vehicle. Second stage is preparing to uh, trim propellants. Pump house is good. MVAC actively trimming, performing nominally. And we have second stage telemetry lock and power systems are nominal. Guidance is still nominal. Vehicle is currently traveling at almost 5,000 meters per second and an altitude of 239 kilometers. New Hampshire telemetry is cleaned up. And back and second stage are performing nominally. LC, we got grass fires all the way by the hangar. South camera. Propulsion is performing nominally. Guidance nominal. And avionic systems are nominal. Second stage and MVAC performing nominally. We have nominal avionics operation and telemetry lock. Guidance is nominal. As the vehicle is approaching the horizon, as, as viewed from the launch site, we may lose video signal and or it may become degraded. One minute of nominal SECO one time. MVAC and the second stage continue to perform nominally. Vehicles in terminal guidance. The vehicles at an inertial velocity of 7,000 meters per second at 256 kilometers altitude. Second stage is approaching Seco 1. MVAC still performing nominally. And engine shut down. Falcon 9 Stage 2 and the Dragon capsule are now in orbit around the Earth. And with the shutdown of the second stage engine, SpaceX's Falcon 9 has achieved Earth orbit.
stage two attitude control system is now active. During Coast's second stage, we'll perform a series of settling thruster and propellant tank.